Well, this year they've got a new coach. They're ready to go, and this is their home opener. Because again, they're 18 and 13, and this is the second series to start of conference play. Ball and two strikes, here it comes. This is strike three, called on Acosta. And Pfizer's got the first two retired. For Minnesota, it was 17,000 miles to travel. Here's the 2-2. Strike three on Acosta. And Pfizer now has three strikeouts on the day. Here's the first pitch to Parlick. She swings and lines this into left center. Stops in front of Thomas. She will throw home as Ellie Jensen comes in to score the first run of the game here. This is for Minnesota, and it's a 1-0 game. Because she can hit a lot, of, a lot of balls anywhere in the zone. Here's the 1-1. Here we go. Kendall Lindemann. Got one in the zone and it's gone for a home run and this one's a monster. And the Gophers now lead by four. What a shot from Kendall Lindemann. I mean, we were just mentioning how pitchers try to pitch around her to avoid what we just saw, but it just happened in that ball. Iowa, now the 2-2 is on its way and a swing and a miss from Abello. Now four Ks for Pfizer. Now the 2-2. Harlick grounds this one softly to Farina. She looks at home, throws to first, and has one out, but an RBI for Parlick. And Aaron Walker pitches to Houlihan, who gives this a ride into center field, and on the first pitch of the fifth inning, Houlihan has her second home run of the season, and the Gophers lead by six. Strike three, and Pfizer's got a no-hitter. Amber Pfizer, her first no-hitter of her career. It's the 29th in Gopher history, and Minnesota wins game one 6-0.